Fellow Falcoholics, what is up? Welcome to another episode of the Falcoholic Live. I'm your host, Kevin Knight, at Falcoholic Kevin on Twitter, here to bring you another edition of our Falcons film review series. Last time we talked about running back Mike Davis and his fit in Arthur Smith's new Falcons offense. Today we're going to look at one of the biggest, quote unquote, uh, defensive additions in free agency thus far, which is cornerback Fabian Moreau, formerly of the Washington football team. Moreau is a former third round pick with just outstanding uh, athletic testing. Uh, This is a guy that came in with a 4-3-5 official 40-yard dash, some really impressive vertical and broad jumps. Um, So he's a tremendous athlete, very explosive, uh, good size, over 200 pounds uh, for a cornerback is, is no joke. Um, so this is a guy that was very impressive in terms of his athletic testing, was drafted highly, and never really took control of, of a starting job in Washington. He was moved around a bit, um, played on the outside, played some slot. From what I've watched, <laughs> he's much better and more comfortable on the outside. I suspect that's where the Falcons want to play him as well. But we're going to take a look at some of his plays. Uh, this was a guy who only played... Uh, about 200 snaps in 2020 so it was slim pickings i dove through a lot of tape looking for impact plays from a road to to break down so you're welcome um so let's go ahead and take a look at some of these I'm, i had to go back to 2019 you know to find some some plays as well to kind of bulk this up but uh at the end of the day i do think moreau is a very intriguing addition someone who i think is going to challenge for a starting job on the outside opposite aj terrell obviously depending on what happens in the draft um but very intriguing has some exciting flashes and some th- some things about him that are very impressive. So let's go ahead, take a look, starting with some plays from the 2019 season. So the first play we're going to take a look at is from the 2019 season. This is week 12, Washington versus Detroit. Fabian Moreau is wearing number 31 this year. He changes numbers next year, so I'll make sure to point that out. Uh, So right now it's first and 10 in, uh, it's first and 10 for Detroit uh, at the Detroit 45, 11 minutes, 22 seconds left in the second quarter. Fabian Moreau is going to uh, have a nice play, an interception here. Um, so basically I'll circle Moreau for you because this all 22 is both sun bleached and also a little bit fuzzy. So this is Moreau here. He's going to be going up against, uh, X Falcons, great Marvin Hall. Uh, so Hall is just going to run a sideline route here, um, to try to get a, a deep shot against Moreau and Moreau is going to cover this quite well, uh, follow, uh, track the ball and manage to, to get a pick here. Uh, So it's actually a pretty nice play for Moreau. This was one of his most productive games of the 2019 season. Um, So let's go ahead and take a look at the play and we'll go from there. See, you know, Moreau starts off in off coverage. He tracks the ball well, is able to keep up with Marvin Hall, who we know has some good speed and bring in the the ball there at the end for the interception. Um, Just a pretty impressive play uh because we know marvin hall is very fast we also know moreau is very fast let's watch that one more time slow it down a little bit at the catch point he's able to keep pace there sorry about the sun bleached you know it's just sometimes these sunny games ball in the air as you can see moreau in great position this whole time to make the play and he's able to elevate and beat marvin hall to the catch point and bring that ball down uh just a nice play uh and as you'll see on more tape moreau has a knack for getting these sorts of interceptions you know whether it's on underthrows or the quarterback staring down receivers or whatever he makes the plays when they're presented even though he doesn't get a lot of opportunities and that's a very intriguing part of his game All right, here we have another play from the same game much, much later, second and 11 in the fourth quarter. Uh, Detroit's at their 24-yard line. There's about eight seconds left in the game, so this is a a money play for Detroit. They're down just two points. A field goal could theoretically get them the lead. Obviously, they're going to need a miracle here. Uh, It doesn't happen, (laughs) in part because of Fabian Moreau and in part because of Jeff Driscoll's 
very poor decision making you know i don't know why you would throw this with only eight seconds left in the game it doesn't seem like it really gets you much but basically what's going to happen here is uh washington's going to have murrow lined up on the inside here he's going to be going uh up against this receiver i can't see the number so i apologize i, I don't remember who it is but basically it's just going to be a slant here quick easy route for some quick yardage but again this late in the game you need a big chunk not sure why you throw it but either way mro is gonna read the route the whole way he he's expecting slant clearly he's got his body turned to the inside he knows uh some sort of route is probably going there uh jeff driscoll's not gonna do his receiver any favors by staring him down but Moreau is basically before uh basically as soon as the play starts he's gonna charge on this slant route uh and he's gonna get the pick here um you can see his explosiveness and his burst as he gets there uh, basically before the receiver can even get his route finished. Uh, so it's I think it's an impressive pick, even though I, I think the quarterback made a mistake here uh, and the receiver obviously didn't run the best slant, but um, still a showcase of Moreau's athletic talent. So we'll just get the play here. Receiver's going to start his route. Moreau picks it up almost instantly and beats basically the receiver to the spot to get that interception. Um, just a play showing off his athleticism, his ability to read the quarterback. Again, nothing particularly difficult in terms of, you know, advanced skills there, but it is a showcase of his athletic talents. Um, he's able to get to his spot and complete the catch, take the ball away. And, you know, knowing the, the place that this is in the game, eight seconds to go, um, that's a game ending play. So regardless... Uh, it's an important play and a good one for Fabian Moreau showing off his athleticism, his ability to read the quarterback, even if the quarterback's doing something very obvious, uh, and to make a play on the ball, which is probably his best trait in what I've seen from him so far. So next play we're going to take a look at for uh, Fabian Moreau. During the 2020 season, this is week one, Washington versus Philadelphia. Moreau's now wearing number 25. He's at the bottom of your screen. I will circle him for you in just a moment. Um, on this play, Moreau's lined up on the outside going against Philadelphia uh, first round rookie Jalen Rager, who is known for his speed. So as you can see, uh, Moreau is here playing pretty far off, um, you know, giving a lot of respect to that speed. Uh, so we're going to see Rager run a route like over here um along kind of along the sideline moreau is gonna immediately go into like a bail type coverage a start running downfield um you know really like i said respecting that speed um obviously moreau is very fast himself he's gonna be able to easily keep up with jalen rager uh we're gonna see a pass that's not particularly well thrown by Carson Wentz, kind of a theme of his 2020 season. Uh, Moreau's going to be able to make a quick adjustment on the ball, use his explosiveness to undercut uh, Jalen Rager, get in front of him and make a, a nice interception here. Um, so let's go ahead and watch the play and we'll break it down further from there. So we're going to see, like I said, Moreau's going to start off with his back to the cornerback. He's going to see the you know Rigger get into his route and then make a nice break on the ball to finish that one off with a pick um you know not a particularly well thrown ball from Wentz you know it, it's behind it's well behind where where it needs to be um if it was going to be thrown there it probably needs to be thrown a lot closer to the sideline um so only Rigger would have had a chance to get it going out of bounds but as it was thrown you know very dangerous ball um so let's go ahead We'll watch that one in a little bit more slow motion here. So we'll see. Rager is going downfield, covering a lot of ground. Moreau, though, in good position, keeping that inside leverage. Uh, gonna, you know, Rager's going to break towards the outside. The ball's a little bit behind him, and Moreau is just in perfect position, able to go up. Again, use those jumps, use that explosiveness to close the gap very quickly, make a nice play on the ball. Um, and, you know, not every quarterback is going to throw balls inaccurately, but it's important when it does happen to take advantage of it. And Moreau is very, very good at that. Um, you know, he only played less than 200 snaps for Philadelphia uh, this season, but he had multiple interceptions because when he gets a chance to get his hands on a ball, he does. And that is valuable. Uh, and that might be what the Falcons are hoping to harness here in the 2021 season.
All right, a little bit of a different flavor play here. This is gonna be a run support play for Moreau. Um, and for the most part, he's a very solid tackler. He's not gonna miss a lot of tackles. He does have really good size, six foot, over 200 pounds. So he's a reliable guy, particularly on the outside. This is a good play that, under, that, that underscores that he understands his responsibility as a cornerback, as the contained player, as the guy who can't let the play get outside. He's gonna do the right thing here. It's gonna result in a big gain for the Cardinals because of other players' mistakes, but Moreau's play here probably prevents this from becoming a 20 plus yard run, probably prevents this from becoming a, a potential touchdown because Murray's, Murray is extremely fast. Um, you know, the Cardinals quarterback, uh, he can break this and the safety's angle. I, I don't know that if Moreau didn't keep contain on the outside on this play, that, that the safety would have had the correct angle to make the play here. So just to illustrate what's going to happen for you, Moreau is currently playing uh, on the outside here. Um, what's going to happen is Kyle Murray is going to run play action here. The running back, which I believe is Kenyon Drake, is going to get the fake handoff and take the run, you know, quote unquote, this direction. While Kyler Murray is going to keep the ball himself uh, and run it this way. Meanwhile, the tight end here on the end of the formation is going to be blocking Moreau. Moreau sees this almost immediately and gets to be on the outside shoulder of the tight end to try to funnel the run back inside. Um, so when Kyler Murray comes up, he is eventually to make the tackle upfield. You know, it, it's a pretty substantial gain, but it is a good tackle. And the reason this play is going to fail is because number 90 bites hard on the play action. He's going to knife in here and be in position to make a play, but he's going to chase down Kenyon Drake instead of tackling Kyler Murray with the football. So just a mistake by the defensive lineman. Um, but Fabian Moreau keeps it from becoming a disaster. So here we go. We're going to watch the play. So Moreau, like I said, going to keep that contained, going to keep outside leverage. And when he gets a chance, he's going to knife in, make a shoestring tackle and prevent that from becoming a disaster. Um, you know, Mur Murray was able to pick up 13 on the play, which is good. And this was a third down. So obviously you'd like it if Moreau could pull off some sort of miracle, be his block and, and make the tackle there. But his responsibility is to keep contained and keep Murray from getting to the sideline. And he does that well. So we'll watch it in slow motion again here. You can see the fake handoff. Number 90 is going to bite on it. Um, and, and Murray's just going to have a free reign. The other defender is just not in position, gets double teamed with the blocks there. Moreau just going to play this smart, stay on the outside of Murray and uses explosiveness to come in and actually get a tackle attempt here. Um, you know, his shoestring tackle might have prevented a touchdown there. Um, and that's just a pretty standard representation of what Moreau brings as a run defender. I would say he's a plus player there. He's a plus tackler on special teams as well and has filled that role uh, quite a bit for Washington over the years. Um, so at, at the very worst, I think you're going to get a, a dependable run support guy on the outside uh, from him. So I think this is a pretty impressive play. Obviously still a big gain, but it's not about necessarily the result of the play, but the result of the process. Moreau had the right call here, did the right thing, was able to prevent this play from becoming a disaster. That is valuable and important. All right, the final play we're going to take a look at. This is Week 17, Washington versus Philadelphia, the rematch. Uh, it's going to be in the third quarter, first and 10 uh, at the Philadelphia 29, 9.32 to go. Um, Rose is actually going to, play, going to be playing on the inside here, um, and he's just going to make a really smart play. He's going to read the motion of the offense. He's going to notice what's going on, going to correctly hand off his player and go make a nice pass break up here to prevent this play from going anywhere. Uh, so what's going to happen is it's going to be uh, some motion here to start. This guy's going to come out here to try to catch uh, basically what's a screen pass from Wentz while these other two guys, this guy's going to basically try to take his guy downfield. This guy's going to try to distract Moreau here with a route, uh, but the Moreau's right here, guys. Um, so the linebacker's actually gonna pick up this route uh, correctly. This guy's gonna take his route, and then Moreau's gonna knife in here uh, and break up the pass before it can get going. Um, so he's gonna read the play, read the motion well, get in there with his explosiveness and, and break up the play before it has a chance to go anywhere. So let's watch this take place here. 
here comes the motion from the bottom of your screen. The guys go in motion here, trying to kind of take take out Moreau with a you know quasi pick route there. Uh, but Moreau, you know, reads the play quickly, gets in there, and prevents that play from happening. Um, you know, the rest of the defense was was pretty well on it too. But if not for Moreau's play, that could have potentially gone somewhere. So let's watch that in slow motion. We'll get that going again here. The motion comes across. Moreau's watching it the whole way. He sees that he needs to change his responsibility. The linebacker also does the right thing here. Um, so Moreau starts moving, you know, trying to get around the guy that's trying to set the pick. He does a good job of that. Sees the ball come out, and he just covers a lot of ground. You can see that explosiveness and that speed as he launches in there to break that pass up. I mean, even if he didn't break up the pass, uh, that would have been a very minimal gain if he was just getting there to make the tackle. So very impressive play and just an illustration of what Moreau really offers you. Um, you know, I, I think for the most part, he's not as comfortable in the slot, so that's not necessarily a role I'd like to see him in. Um, I think he's much better on the outside, but uh, he can make plus plays if he gets, you know, he's best just reading the quarterback, reading the play and making breaks on the ball. That That's really what his strength is. So uh, nice play there from Moreau to close out the 2020 season. Well, there you have it, folks. A film review of cornerback Fabian Moreau for the Falcons, a guy that I think has a lot of untapped upside, probably didn't really get a fair chance to shine at Washington because of the bevy of options they had uh, on defense, particularly at the cornerback position. They kept bringing in new guys. He never really got much of a chance to, to make an impact there. Um, I think he needs to play on the outside. He looks a lot more comfortable in coverage when he can use the sideline to his advantage, when he can you know keep that inside leverage and force the cornerback to the sideline. He can use his long speed a lot more effectively in that kind of uh, run, you know, run downfield coverage. He's got the explosiveness to make plays, to break on the ball, you know, traits that make me understand why Washington wanted to try him in the slot. He just doesn't look as comfortable there in the middle without the sideline to help him. And um, I think with his size, he's perfectly suited to play the outside still. He's got the athleticism. He's got the physicality to be your run support guy on the edge as well, keeping that contain going. And the ball skills are certainly there. So this is a guy that, that does have upside to become more than what he's been. I don't know that the Falcons would be wise to go into the season as they're like with with Moreau as their unquestioned quarterback too. He hasn't really had a chance in the last several years to be that type of player where he's gotten that volume of snaps consistently. But I think there is a, a scenario where Moreau is a a plus starter for you. Um, so this is a, a move that I really like. It's very low risk. They didn't pay him a ton of money. And I think it's high reward because if he plays well, maybe you keep him around or he leaves in free agency next year, gets a decent contract. And you're talking about comp picks coming back your way. So um, a player that I like, a player that I think has a chance to make an impact for Atlanta, despite the low cost of his signing. Um, and, you know, if he's the third or fourth cornerback in the rotation, I think the team could feel very comfortable with that. Just a little bit nervous about having him as the unquestioned cornerback too, which is probably what we're looking at right now with the current construction of the cornerback room. So we'll see what other moves the Falcons make in the secondary uh, in the draft and over the, the remainder of free agency to kind of fill out that room. But a player that I do like. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. Um, if you haven't yet checked out our Patreon, that's patreon.com slash Falcoholic Live. We're going to be having another one of our patron Q&A sessions. It's going to be Tuesday, April 6th at 8, 10 p.m. Eastern. If you're interested in taking part in those, those are a lot of fun. We're going to have some special guests on to answer as many questions as our patrons can come up with for about an hour. So if you're interested in getting in on that, check out the Patreon page. All of our patrons at this time will have access to that. Uh, in the future, we might have to restrict it just because of the volume, but for now, everyone has access. So you have plenty of time to sign up for that if you're interested. And you can also check out our live shows on Wednesdays at 8, 10 p.m. Eastern as well. Um, so th again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time on the Falcoholic Live. Have a great day, folks.